Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. For the hundreds of millions of people worldwide who are suffering with this herpes virus, I am gonna share some cutting edge information to help you, to get you feeling so much better. There are several strains of the herpes virus, but the two most common ones are herpes simplex one, which is oral herpes, and herpes simplex two, which is genital herpes. Most people with oral herpes were likely to get infected during childhood or adolescence through sharing a cup, a straw, eating utensil, a toothbrush, or through kissing. And genital herpes is one of the most common sexually transmitted diseases worldwide. Oral herpes causes cold sores or fever blisters in the mouth as well as around the lips. And genital herpes is most commonly seen on the genitals, around the genitals, or even around the rectal area. And it is important to understand that either type of herpes can be transmitted from the oral to the genitals and from the genitals back to the oral region. Now the herpes virus can be very tricky because many people out there who have this virus may not have any symptoms. Understand that everything is being controlled by our immune system, but the herpes virus stays dormant within the dorsal root ganglion within the spinal region. And when there is any kind of stress to our bodily systems, our immunity becomes weaker. We become more susceptible for that outbreak if it's coming to the oral region or the genital region. And most doctors will recommend antiviral medication, although this can help treat the symptoms, but it's never totally going to remove the causation of that herpes virus. The bottom line is we need to strengthen our immune system. And that's what I'm going to teach you today. I'm going to share some great information with you that's going to help you feel so much better. I have found that many women seem to have outbreaks right before they menstruate. And there can be a high correlation because that's when your estrogen and progesterone levels are the lowest. This herpes virus, loves sugar. And you women, if you are having any type of candida problems in the past, okay, candida infections, candida yeast infection thrives on sugar. And I can promise you that when you start cutting back that sugar, those refined carbohydrates, you're going to see a tremendous change. Although you must strengthen that colony in your intestines, that flora. So start adding those probiotics. Those probiotics will keep your immune system strong. And if you're one that loves to drink alcohol, this is going to cause more outbreaks. And that will also weaken your immune system. The herpes virus thrives on arginine. So if you're eating foods high in arginine, especially peanuts, chocolate, almonds, as well as many other foods, once you start cutting that back, you're gonna see positive changes. Now L-lysine, another amino acid, can be your savior because the herpes virus cannot replicate when L-lysine is around. L-lysine and arginine likes to compete, but if we beat up that arginine and we increase our L-lysine, foods like turkey, chicken, fish, legumes, vegetables, that can really do amazing things for you. So you must reduce those refined sugars and sugar substitutes like aspartame and other ones as well. Increase your consumption of broccoli and other cruciferous vegetables. Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, and bok choy, they all contain an active ingredient known as indole-3-carbonyl. And this has been shown to inhibit the replication of the herpes virus. Taking a high potency multivitamin will definitely be helpful for you. We want to increase our levels of vitamin C, selenium, zinc, vitamin A, beta carotene, and vitamin E. This will help suppress the herpes outbreak. And we must diminish our stress levels. I understand things are tough, but if you're not getting the proper sleep and your body is not repairing and healing, that is the number one reason that you're going to have an outbreak. So make sure you're getting your proper sleep and keeping your stress levels down. Any bit of exercise 
will also help build your immune system. So find that type of activity that you enjoy. There are many different remedies that people use when they have outbreaks. Quite commonly seen is hydrogen peroxide and L-lysine mixed together. Crushing up the L-lysine and mixing it with the hydrogen peroxide and applying it topically when needed in the early phases. Now there are other remedies like extra virgin coconut oil that has amazing antiviral medicinal properties as well as apple cider vinegar, neem oil, and witch hazel. Echinacea, garlic, oregano oil, elderberry, black seed oil are all great natural remedies to kill the herpes virus. And one very important thing that many of you are not doing, you're not hydrating. We must hydrate. We must get that fluid into our system. That's going to keep our immune system strong. And that's going to help you fight that virus. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.